Hey Randy, thanks for the look there. And what I want to discuss is how to stop duffing your chip shots. So there can be a lot of miscon there can be a lot of misconception, a lot of confusion around this topic. So what I'm going to discuss is how important it is to understand the position of the handle, position of the club head, and the position of your sternum for impact to create that desired strike and increase spin. So the biggest we want to try and get in the habit of having or delivering the club into impact or shallow angle attack so we have the biggest margin for error. So if we have obviously the old, the old school method with the chip in it can be a little bit confusing so what a lot of uh, what a lot of coaches used to teach is the ball back hands forward and almost as if you're digging the club into the ground. What that does is it makes digs the leading edge into the ground. When you dig the leading edge into the ground you reduce loft the club loses speed because it's digging a hole into the ground. So we need to utilise the bounce. We need to almost get the club from there to almost reduce shaft lead. So Matt, we need to try and understand, we need to reduce the shaft lead. So what I mean by shaft lead is the angle we create between left forearm and club shaft. We need to reduce that. So make sure the hands are level with the golf ball. So if I was to address the golf ball, my hands should be level with the golf ball. And from here, I need to focus on my sternum. So the sternum should be in line with the golf ball. That, what that does, so hands in line with sternum and golf ball. So we need to reduce that angle. So we need to get hands almost level with the golf ball so we can reduce that tendency of the leading edge digging in because we're increasing shaft lean. So when we increase shaft lean, that reduces the width of arc that the club travels on. So we need to get into the habit of doing the opposite to that. We need to increase the length of arc. So if you focus on the butt end of the club, you need to focus on the butt end of that club and how that moves consistently throughout the, the golf swing. So hands level, sternum in line with the golf ball, weight left so we can create that slightly descending blow, but not too much descend, so almost the, the club's grazing the top of the grass. So three main concepts to look at. So hands, if, let's, let's talk about, if my hands are too far ahead of the golf ball, I'm going to dig the leading edge into the ground. So if I have my hands too far ahead, that suggests that we are more inclined to use the leading edge as opposed to the ground. So if the leading edge digs in the ground, the club slows down. Obviously the club travels with slow, a, a, slow, a shorter arc and it's quite a steep angle attack. So we need to allow for the bounce to interact with the ground. So by to initiate that, what we need to do is obviously hands level with the golf ball, none of this where there's massive or too much excessive shifting. Hands level and we need to feel it that we're, we're getting the club head to bounce off the top of the ground instead of digging in. So if I was to do that, the club would steepen sound. If I was to do that, when the hands are moving back to me, that's going to increase shifting. So focus on the butt end, if the butt end stays st steady, going back and forward, that will allow us to uh, obviously to interact the bounce off the ground. So focus on keeping the handle moving. So too many golfers who get into a position where so in order to achieve this we need to focus on the, the butt end of the club. So the butt end of the club we want the handle to move away from the target on the way back so the butt end of the club's moving away from the target and then as you come through the club's moving towards the target. Too many golfers who have their hands too much ahead of the golf ball, what they'll do is they'll naturally use their wrists, they'll try and they will say to them, I'll try and create a little bit of wrist tension. So what they'll do is they'll do that excessively. Butt end points towards target. So from here, obviously, as I've shown you before, this reduces the width of arc. Because if you focus on the butt end of the club, where I'm focused on the butt end going away for the, the golf club, no, I'm not using much wrist tension here. But if I was to use massive or uh, lots of wrist tension, the club would just go straight down on that arc again. So almost this action, where you will hurt your wrist or create some some injuries through that impact position. So we need to try and get our shoulders and torso to take the club back in a wider arc with, with our chip shots or pitch shots as you want to refer it as. So focus on the butt end of the club going away from target and going towards target on the way through. So people use their hands, they'll push the butt end towards target as I've just mentioned and obviously the grip, the grip slows down so you're, going, you're not going to create a lot of velocity and impact. The strike's going to be pretty poor because you're going to be hitting down on the golf ball and then the leading edge. The strike has to be really good in order to obviously achieve any consistency from that technique.
So hands level, feel like you, the butt end moves away from target, so we can shallow that out, that angle of attack and use the bounce. So we need to focus on increasing the length of the arc with the butt end of the club. So in order to initiate this, we need to feel like we're, we're using our shoulders and our, our torso instead of our wrists. So if we be able to turn our shoulders like Jason Day style, where he's quite wooden, but achieves is unbelievable at pitching it and his short game is unbelievable. So he takes club back, butt end away from target, and then as he comes back down, butt end goes towards target. So make sure that your left shoulder and club shaft are in correct line. So to achieve that, obviously butt end club away from target and then towards target. That will stop this flipping action of when the butt end goes towards target, then back towards target. So you're not going to create a lot of power from there. So we need to understand butt end away from target, then we'll create that width. But I want you to try that and let me know what you think. So we need to increase the length of the handle in order to achieve consistency and shallow the angle attack. So if your butt end goes towards target straight away, it's going to go back towards target. So if it goes away from target and goes towards target on the way through, you're going to obviously shallow the angle attack, create more speed, and you'll be able to improve your short game and the lower your score. So if you've got any thoughts on that video, as I was saying, post a comment below if you find this um, video helpful or like what if you like what you see, uh, make sure that you subscribe to my channel at Jamie Allen Golf or follow me on four other social media platforms, obviously YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter under Jamie Allen Golf. Thank you.